y'all. Welcome to Hashtag Religion Week TV. Rick Ross returned home from the hospital on Monday, March 5th, according to TMZ, and he's back on social media. The rapper, whose real name is William Leonard Roberts, spoke out following his hospitalization, posting an Instagram photo on Thursday, March 8th. The 42-year-old star wrote, Ain't nothing like home. I love y'all. And signing the post with his initials, WLR. The black and white photo taken from the back shows his jacket, which reads, Black Bottle Boy. Rick Ross shares first photo since being released from hospital. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Apparently, Rick Ross was um, hospitalized back on March 1st, and Rick Ross is back after a crazy health scare last week. The rapper, whose real name is William Leonard Roberts, thanked fans on Thursday after being hospitalized on March 1st upon being found unconscious in his Davie, Florida home. Here's a picture right now of Rick Ross posing up on a, like a, a wood stone, pretty green and gold uh, backdrop um, with that Rick Ross look on his face. Huh, how you doing? <laughs> Anyhow, ain't nothing like being home is quoted by Rick Ross saying, I love y'all, the 42-year-old star wrote, along with a photo of himself from a black, from the back in a jacket that reads, Black Bottle Boys, and here's a picture of that. Hold, and holding on to a bottle of Luke Belair Rosé. Go Rick Ross Rosé. Go Rossy Ross. The champagne he's a brand ambassador for. Um, it also goes on to say, it is unclear where the photo was taken, but he is standing against the concrete wall in what appears to be a hallway. He tagged the location Maybach Music Group. All right. It also goes on to say, Ross was released from the hospital on Monday after a four-day stay, after a four-day stay, according to TMZ. The links are below to this story here, guys. Feel free to go check out the rest of the story. Uh, the reason for Rick Ross' hospitalization has yet to be released, but according to David's Police Department records obtained by Daily News. Ross was found unresponsive at his home at around 3.43 a.m. Thursday. In the police reports, I do mean in the police records, he was said to be slobbing at the mouth and boo-booed on himself. Ross was hospitalized in Miami area cardiac unit and sources said that the health scare was a result of heart issues, according to TMZ. Now, the purple Lamborghini artist previously suffered from a pair of seizures within a span of six hours back in 2011, which was mentioned in the dispatch report. In 2016, Ross, who once weighed 350 pounds, revealed he lost 75 pounds by making lifestyle changes. And I do want to go on to say, people, I hope and pray that the lifestyle changes he made back in um, 2011, um, pretty much uh, 2016, um, helped him with his, you know, hospital scare. I do hope and pray and believe that, you know, people can rehabilitate themselves. Because whether we believe it or not, and I deal with this myself, being overweight can be a sin to most of us, or even just present more health problems than normal and definitely not taking care of ourselves and doing extracurricular things outside of what's called normal work and normal you know leisure and playtime so with that being said let's go on and hear what Rick Ross has to say in his own words thank you very much subscribe like and share watch this video please. it's a perfect day to boss up it's a perfect day to thank God for opening your eyes and, you know, getting to see another day. That's what 2018 is. 2018 is hustle hard. Long live Black Ball. Free Meek Millie. Y'all see him? Y'all see my two babies? These my two daughters. Go ahead, y'all can record it. Say, so this is what it's like. This will be going down 4 a.m. 
So this will be going down for you. Say what's up. Say hi. Y'all see them super small MMG crosses? And she, but look, y'all know she three months. But look at her bag. You see my boosters? I came home to the most beautiful gift ever. Brianna, I love you, baby. Thank you. Long little black bow. Nadrin Latif, Latif with an E, which is on his birth certificate. Black Bow live forever, baby. I love you. Squad, this mean a lot. This means so much. Always been a fan of art, a huge fan of art. This piece is a piece that a mob member, a mafia member actually painted. And this is an elephant skull that I actually collected. Anybody know the, the OG Obama? Let them know Rosé rock with it. Hey, YouTube. What's going on? Are you believing this story right here? So far, we've just seen a clip. We heard about him getting out of the hospital. We heard him talk about everything but his son. He just paid homage to everything. His daughters, uh, Obama, his family. You got to watch the link. Uh, check out the link to get the rest of the clip. But he gives homage to him going to the, the White House and... um. But, you know, when a man have a son, the seed bears his last name and keeps it going. Not so much the daughters. And he seems to be paying more attention, allegedly, here to me, um, with his girls than his maybe firstborn son or, you know. Let me know what your thoughts is down below about this because this happens a lot too far and too far often in our communities where... You know, um, I dated a guy once, actually my ex-husband, we've been dating off and on since I was, oh God, 13, 14, we ended up getting married, but not my story, that's another video, and we ended up getting divorced, but he's the type of man, good guy, but if he's in the house with a woman, and children is there, those are the children who get taken care of, not his own biological children if they have to be happen to be living somewhere else, okay? So Rick Ross seems to be like my ex husband. I'll just call him his self righteous name born. You know, there's a lot of self righteous people in this world like born and Rick Ross who don't give a damn about their children, nor care about their well-being as far as uh letting them see you love other kids more than them and then we're gonna get into this next story here with rick ross about you know freeing meek mills on stage at a concert is what he's been allegedly to say and you know while going through this whole child support battle case with his what uh ex, um ex tia kemp uh, who's freeing his son? Why doesn't he want his son free? And what I mean by that is why wouldn't a man want their son to have their father? So that that's a sense of freedom right there, knowing that, th that your dad is in your life. So let's go ahead and get into this next story, guys. Leave your thoughts below. Let me know what you think about this. And again, we can do what? Sip on all the tea we can with no shade. Talking everything up to Yahweh. Rick Ross. Is looking thinner, TMZ says, but also much stronger after his extensive health care crisis and has even taken time to deal with family matters. Rick was out with his mom, Tommy Roberts, earlier this week in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The boss was feeling good enough to floss her photos after he left his attorney's office. We're told he's in process of hammering out child support agreements with his baby mama, Tia Kent. Have been going ham on each other on social media in recent months, with her accusing him of neglecting their son and calling his family ugly. For his part, Rick's claim, T is just salty over the fact that he banged her sister. And guys, I'm just gonna throw it out there. 
Could any of Rick Ross's daughters be uh, related to Tia Kemp's son? Let me know what your thoughts are. If Rick is ready to take on the battle, he's got to be close to being fully recovered from that hospital stay, another report says. Let's check out this video with him getting out of the hospital and shouting out Meek Mills instead of his son. So I couldn't get the footage for you. Well, I could, but TMZ had their big watermark in it, and we're not dealing with copyrights today. So go ahead. I'll put the link down below. You can go see the full clip, the full video. There's some other songs. He was in concert doing his thing. Shout out to Rick Ross. I'm glad he's okay, guys. And that the hospital stayed in in his life at that particular time. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and wrap it up and just talk about him and his son that's how i would like to end this off okay guys i'm back it's time to go deeper than rap and in the words of big ross huh, big rose in his own words guys this is what he says rick says i look at the game and the business in all different aspects it's a lot of great lyricists on the corner that will never probably understand the business and know how to market themselves and get in a position where they can gain capital. I look at all the strategies people use and what made them successful. What made Birdman just as relevant today after selling 50 million records? Question mark. That intrigues me. To see the class of Jay-Z, his accomplishments, and see how he sets back and accurately make his moves. Okay, so I'm going to come on camera for this. I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey, YouTube. So basically, what I want to know is, is Rick Ross wrong? Is Big Rose wing stops and all that other stuff, is he wrong for the way he treats his son? I emphasize Birdman and Jay-Z as his role model as far as the industry goes in the clip I just read to you. But is he also taking his fatherhood and lack thereof from Jay-Z and Birdman? Because we know how Birdman treated uh, Lil Wayne. And we also know how Jay-Z is uh, treated his alleged son, Brashear Gray, the one on um, Empire. So, and then not to mention maybe all the other kids they have. Because, you know, rappers, they go out. They one night stand it. They sleep here. They sleep there. The chicks, they don't have any of the good sense either. They sleeping around with them. And we don't know who these children's fathers really are. It's always mommy's baby, but a possibility of daddy's maybe. We got to remember that. But in Rick Ross' case, it is his son. He's been in court, paternity, all of that. And he still won't step up to the plate. What will it take to get Rick Ross? to step up to the plate to be a father i thought coming out of the hospital i thought he would go ahead and shout out all his kids not just the girls his son included uh instead of meek mills when he get out of the hospital you know he could have died right then at this point because he'd been in the hospital prior uh 2011 had a couple of seizures uh, he's, his, um, allegedly there's reports out that one of his peoples was found dead in his same apartment, in his same home that he was found in back on March 1st when he entered the hospital. So Rick Ross has a lot going on here, guys. And I really want to just go ahead and say that it, taking his music career from Jay-Z and Birdman is impressive. 50 million records strong. 
Birdman, the elitist, got Tony Braxton, still relevant in the hip hop industry today. Some say because of that whole Illuminigga shit going on that I like to say. Yeah, I did say Illuminigga shit. I do apologize, but that's what it is in Hollywood. It's now it's no longer Hollywood, it's Hollywood, y'all. They all serving the devil and unsold they souls. So for Tony Braxton to be on the arm of a man selling fifty records, fifty million records later, is impressive. It really is. And she's up to no good as well. But that's another uh video. But anyway, Birdman, Jay Z is Rick Ross inspiration for music, but who is his inspiration? For being a father. Guys, let me know. Leave your thoughts, comments, uh, inspirations, love, peace, joy, all that down below. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. And again, I will continue to try to keep bringing you content, but making you think about not just what's out in the media, but what's real to every human being possible. And it's important that a child have a mother and a father, if can be. Dead and gone, I understand, but when parents are still living in this world and don't take heed to their children, there's something wrong. And by the way, folks, you got to understand that uh, Miss Tommy Roberts don't neglect her son, uh, Ricky Ross, okay? So why is Ricky Ross, Big Rick Ross, a.k.a. Rick Ross, neglecting his children or some of them? Because, again, like I said, men will pick and choose who they want to be a father to or not. And sometimes it has to do with who the mother of the child is. If they can't stand the mother of the child, they don't want nothing to do with the child. But it's still wrong. It's something in here, something in here that doesn't click when it comes to people and their children. And with that being said, his mother never turned her back on him. So you think he would learn that from his mother because most people do inherit their mother's father traits. But unfortunately, he's out picking up traits and learning from Jay-Z and Birdman, who once again have not shown that they can be a great father in this day and age and what fatherhood is really all about. So with that being said, all you good fathers out there, go ahead, chime in, ring in, let me know your thoughts because it is what it is. We sipping on all the tea with no shade, talking everything up to Yahweh. Why? Because some of that tea out there is burning like hell and we need to douse it with a little sweet tea in the Lord. And that doesn't mean Christianity, folks. It just means I'm a spiritual being that no, has the stuff that's going on in this world is demonic and we can shine some light on it let me know what your thoughts are subscribe like and share thank you